Okay. I wonder, okay. Go ahead, we're recording, but yeah, we can cut out the first few seconds. Okay. Hello, welcome to this virtual space. I'm Susan Oros from MoonOros.one. I'm here with Marla Imashanti for a, an inspired meditation to help guide many people through this next phase of human evolution. There are so many new access points opening up as the dimensional fields are opening in a way that's never been available to us before. And so we're noticing that many people are feeling uncomfortable in their bodies and very um, unstable in some ways because part of it is because these, uh, like I said, that the consciousness coming in now and the streams of dimensional access points are opening and they, they can feel unfamiliar to the body. Simultaneously, these, um, these openings now are facilitating the release of mental and emotional patterns, or, uh, or emotions that have been, let's, uh, for the sake of simplicity, let's say trapped in the body that would, it's been difficult to release. And so as all those deep layers start to come up, it starts to feel somewhat uncomfortable. So our intention here is to offer a meditation, bringing Marla's energy and my energy, which we recently felt that they kind of balanced each other. And so we're doing this together. Um, and if uh, Marla, I let you introduce yourself. Thank you so much, Susan. I am grateful and honored to be here with Susan to bring our reciprocal work and energies to you at this time. I feel it's important for you to know that we are just like you. We are each mother's walking our human lives and journeys, stumbling like you. And we each have received great support from opening to an awareness that was hidden to us for a long time. And it is, I believe, both of our hopes that this offers you a gentleness into the times that we're in. And thank you for being here with us. Yes, yes, we are honored to be of service to you. And uh, we hope that you'll continue to tune in as we offer more in the future. But for today, um, let me just talk a little bit about one of the things that is happening. Um, sorry. Okay. Um, one of the things that's happening is are, like I said, the dimensional access points that we had not been aware of before. And let me just say for simplicity that our chakra systems are like access points to different dimensional um, fields. So dimensions are, um, one way of looking at them is that they are different bandwidths of spiritual uh, codes, consciousness, awarenesses, and by having dimensionalized fields, then a uh, creator can create by blending the different dimensions in, in different ways. And so uh, think of them as a toolbox uh, for, for creation. The seven body chakras are how we access, how we have been accessing the dimensions, like I said. And so humanity has primarily been working with the seven body chakras, um, the root at around the tailbone area, the sacral right uh, kind of below your navel, the solar plexus kind of around that stomach area, uh, the heart, which is at the center of your chest, the fifth chakra at the throat, the third eye at the uh, forehead and the crown. So those are seven dimensional um, access points. 
now the human it's been hidden to the to humanity that we actually have the avatar full avatar human blueprint was uh is supposed to be a 12th dimensional human with access to really 15 chakras but i won't go into detail about that because we really want to focus on what the energy is trying to do with your bodies right now and open these other chakra points that um, as these other dimensional fields are becoming more available, um, people are starting to feel a different level of connection. So we first access the, the soul through our heart. And so that, that's why many people are talking about the heart being the center. And um, many of our spiritual works and religious teachings, you know, teach about the heart. And um, that's where we first access soul. So it's like saying there is, a, there is actually a, a human soul. There's one soul, or we can call this the oversoul. And the individuated blueprint for your soul or each of our souls comes from that human oversoul. And so um, this is represented here by the, that Merkaba field, right? Or the star tetrahedron, the star of David, uh, that people say, um, some spiritual practitioners talk about that holding your your light body, but the full uh, 12th dimensional avatar blueprint actually comes from this one oversoul. So now there is a big heart opening in that heart chakra or the fourth chakra in the middle of your chest, but we also have a high heart, which I know other people are talking about as well, located right around your thymic area. So that's your uh, thymic chakra or the eighth chakra, universal heart. And this is the first access point to the human oversoul. And so at the consciousness level of the human oversoul, when you know that you're part of all part of this one soul, then we really start to access uh, unity consciousness because the human oversoul, the human, one human soul is, let's say, um, dictating our unique soul expression. And we are each given our unique gifts and talents and purposes for being here on the planet. Um, and so when we know that we're part of a, a collective soul, then we each can operate in that unified field and know that we are in service to source consciousness, but also in service to one another, really. And it's this collective that then makes, uh, balances the whole. And you know, it's from this level that we can end the idea of competition and uh, uh, even hoarding resources because we sort of naturally know that we're all part of the same whole. So what we'll be doing today is, is accessing the dimensional fields that are opening now and um, really, really wanting to make these connections through the, the, your chakra system, your dimensional access points to uh, connect you back to that human oversoul. So this, we're, we're following the guidance of what the energy is trying to do already. And again, our intention is for you to integrate with grace and ease what your highest expression of your beingness uh, as a, a Christed avatar being is trying is really trying to do. So I hope that makes sense. Um,
But I think if you, maybe if you listen a couple of times, it might make more sense. Marla, if you have anything else to add to that? or Just briefly to say thank you so much for that beautiful and comprehensive explanation. One thing that I do want with coming through is that maybe it would also be helpful to realize that these dimensional access points, these chakras that Susan is describing, right now we can imagine that the work that we're bringing to you is making it possible for the way to be cleared. So you could almost see it as if there's a light switch on each chakra and that's turning on, it's turning on no matter what. And now what we're doing here together is allowing the light from each of your chakras to more easily be able to attune to the vibrations that are offered now and mm -hmm. and vice versa. So there's a clear signal, you could say. You could think of it as an electrical signal, a clear light signal, back and forth, back and forth, mm -hmm. e easier way. That's perfect, Marla. Yes, I like that. I like that um, insight. Yeah, I think that's a nice way of... Um, giving people a different perspective on that. Yeah. Ooh. And just one second. And then I'm sorry, I forgot to say that. And then this, the heart is we can think of it as a place where we are broadcasting from. It's, it's this hub. And so our work here together as well will stabilize and renew your heart so that it just, again, makes it easier for, your heart to be the broadcast for your life and for it to hear and to receive and and again for it to transmit and broadcast out thank you yes yes okay yeah and you'll hear your hear marla at different times uh, maybe um using some light language in the background as i speak um and i think that also then at times will enhance the energy work and also at times maybe soften um, some of the energy work um, that we're doing here. So if you hear Marla in the background, that's what she's uh, using is light language. And I'll break into light language at times as well. It sounds like, you know, people might consider like speaking in tongues or um, uh, strange, what some people might think is strange sounds, but it's, um, being guided by our soul consciousness. So, if you're all ready then. <sighs> Sit comfortably. And breathe deep. Take some nice inhales and exhales. And I'm start by activating this liquid light symbol. It's a symbol that accesses the next harmonic universe that was shown to me by what we call the collective autist consciousness um, I received a couple of years ago from them and really seems to be appropriate to use right now. So I'm gonna activate this Dyna Shield and as you can see your body is encased in this liquid light, this center energy Today, uh, it seems to change. Today is a li liquid ether energy. This is to consecrate you in your personal space. It shields you from any outside forces that does not have your highest purpose in mind and only allows those 
frequencies and energies that are in alignment with your soul beingness. And from your tailbone now also send a cord into the new crystalline earth. You draw up those activations and energies from the earth that is appropriate for you. Because in this phase of our evolution, we are being asked to become spirit and matter, to embody the spirit and soul that we are. There's no more separation of accessing the spiritual by going outside the body. We are being asked to become the divinity that you are. And when we surrender to that knowing, then we know each know that we are God. And there's no arrogance to that statement. It means total surrender to knowing that every fabric of your being comes from that God source, that greater I am, the all that is. This is the liquid violet flame. And with this symbol, I'm going to invite in your avatar self. Or you can think of it as the highest aspect of your being. The light body of the highest aspect of your being. Connected to the diamond sun where the original human blueprint was created. Open all vertical channels. So these are all vertical channels. We have many access, many more access points than uh, just the chakras. There are vertical channels. There are horizontal channels. So I'm opening those all right now in alignment with your light body. Opening all diagonal channels. Let the liquid violet flame, which contains all those colors of those vertical, horizontal, and diagonal channels of, of um, spiritual and soul uh, awareness, comes through to support our physical bodies. So clearing all light fibers. And the intention is that you only open those channels that feel comfortable for you in this moment. And that each time you listen, you will open and, and engage new ones. So Marla can do your heart, golden heart, gray heart activation. Thank you, Susan, so much. So this golden ray heart activation came through recently. And I'm grateful when I shared it with Susan, um, both she and Sammy 
brought forward their interpretation of the symbol and as well brought their energetic imprint into this activation. And so the three of us, we could say, have our combined energies here and they're present in this expression. So what we are going to do now, let's begin with an awareness that we are light. We are beings of light. Our cells actually emanate light that is currently invisible to the human eye, but it is detectable. So let's open to that awareness and truth. And each color of the spectrum represents an, a different energy. It carries its own frequency, just like each musical note has a particular sound. So it is with each color. Let's now allow the magenta that we see here to infuse our upper body, imagining the triangle, the top triangle beginning where our shoulder blades are. And again, this interpretation was expanded upon by Susan and Sammy. So now we're gonna bring that triangle into our upper body. And then we are going to bring the bottom triangle, having it start at the top of our hips and together these meet. Koshunisa bringing you so much renewal and fortification. And allowing you to integrate with beauty and love and grace and ease. Feeling this and seeing this in your cells. Infusing and spinning this energy and being supported by the ray tones of the emerald green, Gotorakani Asikiana, further supporting and grounding this now. <sighs> Trusting that you are held in the light of the one, Gunusikiana Takana, in all of the tones that are presenting here. Each of them plays a specific role right now in bringing you the renewal and the sustenance that you need for these energies to assimilate. And you are held again in a violet energy which allows you to be held in the light of the one of which you are an integral part. As you are whole, the world becomes whole. Your fullness brings fullness to the all. Ashawanatata, Ashawanatata, De Eias. Shunisikyotro remember and infuse with the knowing 
that at your core you are love and light. That is the core of who you are in your being. I've also engaged the, um, your hands and feet, which is centered at the heart, uh, so that you can also stabilize, not just from the tailbone connection, but also from your feet uh, with the multidimensional earth. Beautiful. Really beautiful. I'm feeling that, I'm feeling that supporting this emerald green to flow and ground in. Uh, okay, so now uh, I feel like we're stable, stabilized your fields mm -hmm. to begin uh, the oversoul, igniting the oversoul. This is Mohundra, what I call a, a tree spirit. I'm going to activate Mohundra now. The tree spirits have a, a very slow, methodical rhythm to their energy. So we're using this to be a foundational background energy so that the energy work we do today will feel gentle and calm. I'm going to be using some traditional Reiki symbols. Um, Sammy and I have developed our own attunement method, so they'll feel a little different because um, I've attuned myself to uh, those traditional Reiki symbols uh, with a different attunement. So the first place we're going to start, I'm going to, going to be I'm being guided to start with is with the lower three chakras. So the solar plexus, the sacral, and the root. This is encompasses like your stomach and your whole pelvic area if you are not familiar with the chakra system. I'm going to be working with these triads, three chakras at a time. Place a sphere around your lower three chakras. This is what's also been holding humanity's ego matrix, ego identity together is in the lower three chakras. That's what's kept us vibrating, believing that we are only physical beings. And as we are transitioning out of that now and letting go, it can feel uh, fearful. So take those lower three chakras that you're placed in a sphere. Again, this is your consciousness doing this. Your soul is directing this. And put it out in front of you. And if you don't see anything, that's okay, but just use your intention to put it out in front of you. And activate. Sehiki, the Reiki symbol, the mental, emotional. Again, this may feel a little different. We're going to be working on some core fears that your mental and emotional bodies are not allowing you to let go of because it is unfamiliar to you and you don't know if this is safe to do. So, say key, say key, say key. 
Uchi ato si sato yanata. Like a liquid, what I witnessed was just this melting and dropping into the into the Earth star, your personal Earth star. Okay, so now take that sphere with the cleared lower three chakras and place them back into your um, into your lower lower pelvic area. Also going to activate now liquid chakra ray. In the lower three chakras, we're going to go through each one from solar plexus to clear more deeply. Clear the sacral. Clear the root. So now dissolving down into your personal earth star, accessing the multidimensional earth. And if you hear some background, other background noise, that's my son who just woke up. We thought he'd be sleeping by now. Uh, still mm. sleeping. <laughs> so we'll just allow it to be how it <laughs> is. Like Marla said, we're moms, and yes, this is this is the way it is sometimes. So you might hear my son in the background. <laughs> Yes. So let's engage the next triad of chakras. This is the heart, the throat, and the third eye, four, five, and six. Place those chakras into a sphere. Place them out in front of you. Engaging a pool of liquid light to infuse that entire sphere and each of those chakras. There's diamond sun energy coming into each one now. And clear that heart chakra. Imagine that it looks like a mandala or a matrix. It has a beautiful pattern to it. It's as if I'm dialing to a new tune, turning that mandala. And so, like a kaleidoscope, imagine it turning and it clicks into a new pattern that is appropriate for this time. Mm. New openings are opening. Clearing the heart, 
the throat and the third eye with Seheki, the mental emotional symbol. Clearing. Liquid choker ray. Honshazeshonen, another Reiki symbol. And in this triad, the Honshazeshonen, we're going to be guided to clear past, present, future timelines that you have been connected to and that is no longer in resonance with your soul consciousness. So any parallel realities, dimensions, timelines that you have been caught in the loop in, we're now clearing those connections and reclaim those aspects of your soul consciousness that have existed in these parallel realities and different timelines that have been separated out for various reasons from, from trauma or um, uh, whatever, whatever may have caused your soul to, to fracture out into the cosmic realms. Some from uh, exploded planets, if you've been on a planet that exploded, um, that's what I'm getting. But a lot of people are experiencing trauma. And if it feels appropriate for you, if you want to say to yourself, uh, as a God sovereign being, I reclaim all aspects of my soul essence that has been fractured and uh, in some way dis dismembered even from any, any uh, bodies that I may have had in different timelines and dimensional realities. And I cancel all agreements or contracts that I may have made unknowingly when I did not have full access to my full avatar light body that I am. Mm. I reclaim these now as a self-sovereign being in alignment with unity consciousness, unity intelligence, and the law of one. So opening third eye a little bit more. This is again liquid chokure. Connecting this this eye which has a spiritual and physical connection. So clearing out whatever barrier has been in your third eye that has not enabled you to connect with your core spirit in the physical realm. Again with liquid chokure, now clearing your throat chakra. Clearing, clearing it out for the purposes of what feels like uh, coming forward is where you have been, been not been able to express who you truly are, express 
um, your truth and what is in alignment for you. The feeling that you've had to stay silent from truly revealing who you truly are and who you know yourselves to be. So now, still seeing those three chakras, the heart, throat, and third eye, and that sphere. I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna engage this symbol that I call, it's the liquid fire serpent. Some of you Reiki practitioners may remember the, the fire serpent. This is the liquid fire serpent to bridge those three chakras that were supposed to work in unison together as a triad that stabilizes your personal soul matrix. Spinning out a star icosahedron in that entire sphere to get a deeper clearing. Let's clear it out into the zero point field of all that is. Place that sphere back into your body. Reconnect your physical body with those chakras. Feel the liquid light connections now building. Now bridging those three chakras of that upper triad with the lower triad so we stay in balance. Okay, so now we're going to balance the masculine feminine um it's within your body within your beingness in different in different uh, configurations so put your hands together in like in prayer position this is intending to balance the right which is considered masculine and the left feminine bridging the two sides together so even now I'm uh, just gently turning this cylinder that you're encased in so to balance the, the left and the right sides, right to left, drawing, engaging that star tetrahedron around you, which is, looks like two triangles that merge together. Or the star of David. There's a space where the two triangles cross over. Imagine that space to be across your diaphragm. So now balancing the above, which is like connection to Divine Father, and the bottom, Divine Mother, which uh, is in your pelvic area. Bridge the two. <laughs> Now sliding a, like a disc of liquid light. And this liquid light looks like, um, it's all pearlescent colors, opals. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of, like a beautiful opal. And that has golden specks in it. Come back to you, Okay, Chris, a little bit. Okay, all right, a few more minutes. Thanks, Chris. That's my son, Chris. So yeah, inserting this disc into like, uh, like see it like vertical, like a vertical disc. And it's kind of hor laying horizontally and like you can slide it right through that diaphragm area. 
it's as if that spiritual aspect has been disconnected through this diaphragm area from the the lower uh, aspect of our beingness. So with this disc, just gently, gently clearing that space and opening and simultaneously opening it. Let these pearlescent colors connect with your vertical channels that we opened earlier. Feel that deeper connection of spirit moving down through the lower part of your body, through your legs, through your toes, and into the earth. So it's the crystalline earth that we're accessing. And draw up crystalline activations just with grace and ease. You don't have to engage all of them, but just the ones that your soul knows to engage with for uh, new kundalini activations in the body. This is like life force energy from the earth that continues to replenish and renew our physical bodies. Feel that in your tailbone. Again, with grace and ease. The intention is to keep you in balance and gently guide you through these new activations. Okay. Now we're going to engage the next triad, which is the crown chakra, the seventh chakra. An eighth chakra is actually right at your thymic level. It's mid-chest. Ninth chakra is in the back of your head in the area of the medulla oblongata. Right there in the back of the neck. That's the ninth chakra. Those are seven, eight, nine. As we transition from the eighth chakra the ninth chakra begins the access to the antiparticle chakras. Remember, we're, we collapse into form with the antiparticle and the particle. So again, that's like a masculine-feminine principle, and that when we bridge the two together, then we are balanced. Balancing the inner and the outer. So now, again, even though it doesn't seem like they line up, take that seventh, eighth, and ninth chakras, place those into a sphere, put it out in front of you, uh, and allow them to make a, a triangle form. And don't worry about which chakra is where on that triangle. Just allow your soul consciousness know, to know where to, where to place them and how to place them. We're going to engage the a tri-wave symbol because it's the tri-wave that balances the two. The third one balances out the other two. 
Holy Mother, Holy Father, Holy Christos, Sophia Child, I open and integrate to these aspects of my being and open new access points in that eighth chakra. I draw my connection to the human oversoul. So now I'm seeing those three chakras being filled with this golden light, this golden energy that's actually coming from this tree spirit, Mohundra, so that it can, with gentleness, infuse those three chakras. And bridging any missing pieces from that opal pearlescent disc that is that surrounds your uh, diaphragm area, infusing those three chakras. And say a key. Clearing any mental and emotional energetic patterns that has been, even in the crown chakra, that has kept you from knowing your true divine self, knowing the access points to this eighth chakra. We clear out the crown chakra. See a literally a crown coming out of your coming up from your skull, even the bones that is made of those pearlescent, iridescent opal colors. And you'll see it changing colors. You might see it changing colors. If you don't see it, that's okay too. And allow yourself to, allow your soul consciousness to access the correct light color codes for your divine expression in this moment that will help you make those connections help clear the crown chakra even deeper. So you may have already felt it, but that's um, those chakras from the sphere has re-engaged with your physical body. So now we're going to um, draw a connection using an energy of a, a liquid, um, liquid salamander, which is like liquid fire from the high heart, the eighth chakra, into your fourth chakra, the heart chakra. So what's happening is that we are operating from our soul consciousness, from our hearts, but it's in balance and unison with that high heart connected to the one human oversoul. So you are heart-centered, soul, spirit-centered, in an alignment with all of humanity. It's 
So for a moment, allow your soul expression to come forward. And come forward meaning let your physical body become aware of it. There's a star icosahedron that Sammy has actually activated. So a a star icosahedron is a 20 pointed star. And it's filled with that opalescent colors. And the star icosahedron is centered in your heart chakra or fourth chakra. Take a moment and let's spin that and allow the spiritual essence, your unique weave of soul consciousness, allow it to imprint into your physical body. In a new way. So you may feel your whole body tingling. Let's bring the organs into balance. So our soul, personal soul matrix contains the the blueprint to manifest your physical beingness, your physical body. It contains the activations for your DNA. So every organ, every cell in your body is imprinted with your soul matrix, your soul consciousness. So let's clear out anything that's kept our consciousness from our organs being aware that they're also part of this unified field. Spinning that star icosahedron out to dismantle any of those patterns that has kept us unaware of our soul connection even with our organs. So this includes all your systems, all your body systems, the bones. the lymphatic system, the immune system, the endocrine system, the muscular system, the circulatory system, the digestive system. The cerebral spinal fluid, the endocannabinoid system. the myofascial system, the neurology, the brain stem, and all parts of your brain. We clear it all now into the zero point field. So this is the connection with your oversoul. And just to keep everything in balance and aligned, just going to also engage your 10th, 11th, and 12th chakras. So take a moment now and 10th chakra is about six to eight inches above your head. This is the soul star. This is what, the way I see it, the, it's like as if the, the next higher dimensional aspect uh, holds those other chakras um, 
and alignment and coherence. So even though we access the soul matrix, the oversoul matrix through seventh, eighth, and ninth chakras, the soul star above the head keeps uh, is is like a connection that keeps those in in balance and coherence. So soul star six to eight inches above the head, engaging and activating. Eleventh chakra is about eleven inches above the head. No, not eleven. About eighteen inches above the head. It's the eleventh chakra. Twelfth chakra is actually under your feet, six to eight inches. This is also known as your earth star. This is what connects us with the earth. And as like I said in the beginning, our human blueprint was actually created with simultaneously with the Gaian consciousness, the plants consciousness, the animal kingdom all the Christic and mineral uh, aspects of the earth, because uh, the earth and all its beingness, all life forms, were meant to support the avatar human. So by connecting to the earth star, we stay in balance and harmony with the earth as well. And just to give people, uh, so we, it's, it's the 12th dimensional avatar human, but originally with 15 chakras. So the 13th chakra is in the earth. This is what's considered the mother hub, uh, which was supposed to continuously access the feminine mother divine principle that carries in the life force to the earth. So it's a direct access point that um, has been missing. And so as the mother hub now is re-engaging, the 13th chakra is in the earth. We share that chakra. Um, it can also be seen to be 12 inches below our feet. So it's just under that earth star. 14th chakra is three and a half feet above our head. And the 15th chakra is in deep space. The 14th chakra is like uh, an access point, a portal. Uh, into To me, what it looks like is into the omniversal realms. So for today, just engage those at 14th chakra. 15th chakra is in deep space. It is the father arc hub that was supposed to connect us to the divine masculine, the father aspect of the Holy One. Let's place it in Andromeda. This access point had also been, has also been kept from humanity. And by doing so, then the the divine masculine principle were, uh, became very distorted and more of a warring um, uh, energetic consciousness that was able to permeate the planet. So by re-engaging with the true father principle, we come into balance of divine mother, divine father, and all aspects of our being. engaging a sphere that encompasses all of the work that we just did. This sphere is from the omniversal realms. Imagine the sphere is filled with, um, it looks light blue to uh, a light lavender color to me right now. And just very gently clearing anything else that's come forward that you no longer need. Taking it into the zero point field.
crystalline dragons. And I've just been engaged outside the sphere. And they're drawing in all that we no longer need. Mm. And each time you listen, may you open new access points, clear deeper mm, aspects of yourself in order to harmonize and balance with the new dimensional access points coming into play, coming online. Divine Mother, Divine Father, Divine Holy Christ, Sophia, we consecrate this space to a quick sweep with, one more sweep with the tri-wave infinity into the zero point field, zeroing out all imbalances and impurities. In the name of the I am and the all that is, we seal and consecrate this space. I am unity consciousness. If you feel drawn to repeat it to yourself as well. I am a divine being of spirit in matter made manifest. I surrender to my soul essence in service to all of humanity and to the one. Marla, if you want to add. I open to all that I am and to all that I've come here to be to my full human avatar self, being of the one, as the one. And so it is. So it is. Um, taking the tailbone, I feel like uh, vibration was a little too high. And the tailbone and your feet, again, anchor into the crystalline new earth to stabilize your field. We are each honored and blessed. May you gently and with ease release yourselves from this field. May you integrate with grace and ease as well. Thank you so much, Marla. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. If you want more information, this is how you can contact Marla. And this is how you can access us, also meaning Sammy and I, or the work that we do. Thank you so much, everyone. You are blessed. Thank you so much. <laughs>